And now President Uhuru Kenyatta has applauded South Sudan for the progress achieved in search of peace and stability in the country and the neighboring Republic of Sudan. The president said the milestones made in the South Sudan peace process say the commencement of the transition period in February this year were as a result of sacrifices made by parties to the conflict. President Kenyatta, who spoke Monday morning when he received special envoys of President Salva Kiir at State House Mombasa, congratulated South Sudan for committing to a permanent ceasefire and welcomed ongoing efforts to end intra-community violence. The South Sudanese envoys included the country's Minister for Presidential Affairs, Nial Deng Nial, and his Foreign Affairs counterpart, Ambassador Beatrice Kamisa Wani. Further, the head of state urged for the fast tracking of pending issues in the peace accord, key among them the reconstitution of the Transitional Legislative Assembly. President Kenyatta and the envoys also spoke about the peace process in the Republic of Sudan and commended President Kiir for his diplomatic engagements, which led to the Juba peace process. The hallmark of the Juba talks will be the signing of the Comprehensive Peace Agreement on October 3rd this year between the government of Sudan and the Sudanese Revolutionary Front. At the same time, the president praised the northern faction of the Sudan People's Liberation Movement for rejoining the talks and urged the remaining groups to follow suit. Beatrice Getonyangetich, Channel 1 News. Thank <laughs> you.